flowers hearts cheese are these the most romantic items you can get for valentine's no it's ten thousand frogs but not everyone can be as savvy as me for valentine's so let me teach you you know what i love when i'm in a relationship debt it really brings you closer to whoever you are with all these great experiences you can't get anywhere else. Oh yay, half a cheese slice again. So let's go shopping for presents. I get in debt, they get lots of presents, we get to experience it all together. Win, win. Affiliate links down below. Can't start Valentine's Day without thinking about controllers as a gift. There's so many to think about. I prefer the red Xbox controller. Reminds me of the blood my partner has. Yep, that's it. You can also go with the pink PS5 controller, since pink is valentines -y. What is valentines -y anyways? Well, it's spending time with the person you love. Which is why I think a controller works great as a present. It means you want to play games with them. And now you can! Let's play the Wheel of Awkward Stories! I walked in on your mother in the shower. Fun! Speaking of playing together, what is something that two people who play games would want? Tortilla blanket, obviously. Get together and get nice and cozy while you play games together in style. If you're speaking about style, you can't forget about Razer. They make some great products that look good as well. Here you go, if you like pink gifts, and this is a Valentine's list, so hopefully you do. We have the Razer Kraken headset. It's a great way to keep gaming in style. And let's put the Razer Huntsman keyboard in here with this as well. Because Pink shows them that, hey, I really care about matching things, including you and me. This is a list from my lawyers telling me one thing I can't tell you to get. Human heart. But if you still want to get them something that shows you love them and is stylish, besides a human heart, you can get them a Legend of Zelda heart necklace, a simple one heart piece, or a set of multiple necklaces if they really love Zelda. If they don't, well... That just reminds me of one of the greatest love stories ever of all time. If you love Xbox and they love PlayStation, show them your love transcends console wars between your families and get them the Paladone PlayStation icon light showing them that you are willing to love them no matter what console they like, even if yours is better. Alternatively, get them the Xbox icon light so they still know you think about your Xbox. But you think about them more because you got them a present. And if after all that, where you've been through so much, where you could grab through any bag and find something fun to do with your partner. Ooh, bread. But now all it feels like you get is a boring time. An empty box of Pop-Tarts? Again? You've gotten this like five times last week. Well, now it's time to spice things up with some spicy outfits. Game controller outfit. The sexiest outfit of all time. A great way to push all the right buttons. There are some more outfits you can grab if that's your thing and dress up as them. But there's no getting past perfection, so no need to look any further. But I'm still not in debt enough. I still have one of my kidneys. Sorry, we don't need your other kidney yet. So I need to buy more. And I know after getting them all dressed up and looking better than me on prom night, <coughs> you will want to show them off. And what better way than turning them into a streamer? We love games. We love sharing our experiences. So start off by getting them a Logitech C920, a great starting streamer webcam used in this very video. And if they play on console, get them an Elgato capture card. I highly trust the Elgato capture cards and I use them in my own streams. Ah! What happened to me? 
My arms, they go brr. Next, if you really want to pamper them, get them an Elgato Stream Deck, a highly customizable controller that lets you control your streams in highly fun ways. Now they are having a fun time and you can watch them whenever you're not around. Beats hiding in the bushes like I used to have to. 911, yes, he is back in the bushes again. Either way, it sounds like we are cooking up a great time. And it's even better when you spend time doing something with the person you love. Cooking! Lately, there have been lots of these video game cookbooks that have been coming out. It's up to you for whatever floats your boat. Hopefully, that's debt. But there are no debt cookbooks. So one that I would recommend is this Pokemon cookbook. The recipes look fun and simple, and hopefully you will catch a good time. Okay, let me check this off real quick. Things I shouldn't do. That Pokemon pun and go in debt. Yeah, this list is dumb. It's time for the real fun stuff. It's time to smash. In Super Smash Bros. That's all I had to say about this, which is what this next section is all about. Fun games you can play together. Imagine this Pringle is playing a game by yourself. Sure, you can play games by yourself, but there are plenty of great games you can play with each other and have a great time. So let's start off with the best possible game for this list. It takes two. Two what? Two nothing. That's the name of the game. But it also takes two to play the game. Co-op perfection. Nominated for multiple games of the year and its story revolves around relationships. If you enjoy this game, I would recommend two other games by the same studio, A Way Out and Brothers. Both games that are unique co-op experiences. Highly recommend Brothers. It's one of my all-time favorite games. And A Way Out is a good way to subtly hint you don't want to be in this relationship anymore. Another great game is Catherine does have a co-op mode, but I would say play through the main story together. It's all about love and relationships and you can talk about the choices you want to make together. Now, if you just want a fun co-op time, I wouldn't be able to continue this list without talking about Halo, one of the greatest shooters of all time and is fantastic in co-op. I would say grab the Master Chief Collection so you get a great deal. Six great games in one collection. Or grab Halo Infinite, the newest Halo game to come out. One of the best co-op experiences I have ever had. <laughs> hey, that's toxic. Why would you kill me? Toxic. Moving on, Legos. Nothing hurts more than stepping on a Lego. Breaking up, close second. Show your love by getting them Minecraft so they don't break up with you. It's like Lego. But in video game form, so much time can be had in this game playing together. Super Mario 3D World. It's a game where you can play together dressed up as cats. Do I need to say more? Luigi's Mansion 3 came out with co-op. So you can huddle together as you get scared by the ghosts and goo each other. That's right. You can become goo Luigi in the game. How can you not want to goo each other? What if you want a palate cleanser after being horrified from Luigi's Mansion? You can sail far away to an island and relax on Animal Crossing. Such a nice peaceful game where you can play together on an island together and talk to animals and do chores together and well basically do everything you should be doing in real life but so much cuter. If talking animals ain't your thing then try out Stardew Valley. Now with co-op you can build a life together and work on a farm as you grow old together and see the farm you started out with become so much more than what it used to be. Oh wow, we have a pile of crap. Whoa, we have a pile of crap and a frog now. But if all you want is some booty, look no further than Sea of Thieves. You can plunder each other's booty and become rich while you sail the seas together. This game can be one of the most beautiful experiences you can see. And I've seen 10,000 frogs in one spot. If you really want to test your relationship, Portal 2. Fantastic puzzle game. And if you can make it through the co-op and still want to be together, that might be true love. Or it can be a great way to vent your frustrations out after obliterating them with one of the test puzzles. Another great game that can test if you're right for each other is the Overcooked games. Couples that cook together, stay together. 
if you can handle when your partner constantly starts a fire because they were too busy watching the wrong thing. That person just got stabbed. Your oven is on fire. Then yeah, then definitely stay together. The Splatoon games are just great games. You can splat each other all you want in these games and no one will call the police on you. Unlike me and when I was at Burger King. The most horrifying part about that is I went to Burger King. However, if it feels like everything is unraveling at the seams, you might want to play Unravel 2, where you play as a crochet puppet and swing around on yarn. A great game for couples to feel good together with. Moving out. That's it. But show them you are willing to move out of your parents' home by getting them moving out. Shows you are ready for a bigger commitment and also fun to play together. So if you are ready for the next big thing and want to know what it would be like to live together in space in a giant round spaceship while fighting off aliens together, I have the perfect game for you. Lovers in a dangerous space time. If you are tired of fighting and cutting each other down, then relax with snipper clips, where you cut each other down and fight over the best way to solve puzzles. A cute but simple puzzle game where you play as paper trying to fit into the perfect shape. If you have taken the ultimate plunge and want to live together, you're gonna need some skills. Like, don't starve. Together. A game where, well, you try not to die. Subtlety isn't an issue here. Can you help each other out and ward off the encroaching madness while not starving? If so, then it might be love. Or 10,000 frogs. So there you have it. My list of gifts for Valentine's for any gamer. Is there anything I miss? If so, please let me know because I can still go more into debt. Hoping to sell my third kidney soon. Also, they had these gamer Hallmark cards and I just thought they were funny.